Thank you. Wow. 大統領ならぬミチカさんからのエクセキュティブ通信その第1番目は映画の撮影現場訪問でしたまず訪れたのはダウンタウンのサウスロードウェイに面したブラッドベリービル1893年の完成といいますから実に100年以上もの歴史を誇っていますこのビルを舞台にブレードランナーやウルフそして告発などが撮影されたんです 70s and 80s and there was even a point at which they thought the building would be demolished and, but it had already been saved it has, it's a national historic landmark and will never be able to be knocked down 剥き出しの鉄骨に取り付けられた特徴ある滑車と重りこれがブラッドベリービルの歴史を物語る年代物のエレベーターなんですクリスチャン・スライター主演の告発ではこのエレベーターが印象的に使われていましたはい、それは素晴らしいです。トイレのようですね。This was this is not a ほかにもウルフでは全面的にビル内部を改装して撮影されました。次に訪れたのはハリウッドの映画関係者にとってまさに聖地と呼ばれるビルトモアホテル創業73年の伝統と格式を誇るこのホテルは第1回から第13回までアカデミー賞の発表が行われてきました In 1927, this was the room in which the Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts and Sciences was founded. There was an organizing dinner with people like Mary Pickford and um, Cecil B. DeMille and all of the old greats. Um, and it was in this room that uh, Cedric Gibbons um, drew a little sca statuette on his napkin and said, somebody said, oh, this looks like my Uncle Oscar. And that became the, the award for the Academy Awards. That's how Oscar was created. Michelle Feithner and, uh, oh, Fabulous Baker Boys was filmed in here. Picture that same. The guests of the hotel love it because they feel like they're on a movie set and they get to see celebrities and they get to see behind the scenes of the makings of a movie. How long have you been in the hotel? 55 years. 55 years? Yeah. Wow. Wow. But you know, she looks young. Yeah. Yeah, she's great. Well, I was 27. I was 27 when I came here. Why have you stayed to live in this hotel? Love is home. This is my living room. Uh, like Robert Redford was here for about, um, well, let's see, he was here for about four months. It's uh, close, but... Close, up close and personal. Yeah, that's right. ビルトマンホテルで撮影された最も新しい映画がロバートレッドフォードとミシェルファイファー共演のサクセスラブロマンス。